what's up everyone welcome back to another video now today i'll be sharing a recipe for some apple pie donuts you'll absolutely love these let's get started so here i am starting off with two granny smith apples i like to use granny smith apples because it holds up better in cooking and it has a more um solid texture and it won't disintegrate while cooking but feel free to use any other apples you have on hand and want to try this recipe now i'm going to go ahead and cut this up into some small pieces like um some dices because we don't want to we don't want them too big and we don't want them too small and we also want them not to disintegrate while cooking we want to still have a little bit of texture once it's done so i'm going to slice this up and then i'll show you what i do next now i'm going to go ahead and transfer my apples into a bowl and i'm going to go ahead and spice this up Now to this, I went in with about a half a cup of sugar, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Feel free to add as much sweetener you like. Some cornstarch for thickener. I went in with some lemon juice. I lost that clip. You want to add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I will add everything down below, um, the full measurement down in the description, so you could go ahead and check it out. So in a warm pot, I'm going in with some butter and i'm gonna add my apples and i'm gonna cook this until the apples get just a bit tender and the sauce thicken up and have like a caramel like consistency this is going to be cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes you want to keep your eye on it and mix occasionally so it doesn't burn or it doesn't get too sticky where in um it's like a toffee consistency we want it to be like a caramel like consistency now it's done we're going to remove it from the heat and allow this to cool down completely we want this to make sure we want to make sure this is cool when we're using so i'm going to place in the refrigerator to cool down now onto our dough in a bowl i went in with some milk egg yolks sugar and some yeast and i'm going to give this a good mix some melted butter and just set this aside for a couple of minutes now in with some salt and i'll be using bread flour for this but if you don't have bread flour you could use all-purpose flour so i'm just going to add my flour in into small amounts and mix until everything is fully combined and we end up with a dough but we're going to turn this onto our work surface and knead for about eight to ten minutes but feel free to use a mixer if you have you could do this with a mixer but we are also going to do it by our hand today Now onto our work surface. Gonna add our remainder of flour and we're gonna knead until everything comes together and we have a nice smooth dough. At this point, if it's sticky, just keep going. It will come together. Don't add any more flour, just keep going. And if you are doing, just rest for a bit and then go again or use some oil on your hand to make it more pliable. Now we're gonna set aside to rise. It's gonna double in size for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now our dough is doubling size, it's time for us to form our donuts. So I'm just going to roll this out and I'm going to divide this up into some small section. At this point, you can measure if you like. Feel free to make them into the size that you like. So here I'm going to go ahead and divide this up into small pieces. Then we're going to roll them into some ball and then we're going to show you how we fill these up. Now we're going to take one, we're going to roll it out and then we're going to add some of the filling and we're going to use the egg white from the egg yolks that we used earlier on to seal around the edges and then set to doubling size for another 20 minutes while we preheat some cooking oil to fry up our donuts. You could use peanut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. You want to use an oil that has high smoking point. You don't really want to 
use um, olive oil or those flavorful oil because it will burn and your dough will taste nasty so here I am showing you how I seal I just went in with a fork just to seal the edges and I'm gonna set aside and I'm gonna continue on with the same step until all my filling is done Now my filling is done and I have some dough left over so I'm just going to make some twist donuts. So I just roll this out lengthwise and then I do it like you see I'm doing here. This was easy for me and then yeah we have some twist donuts. But you could feel free to twist it however you like or whatever shape you want with the remainder of your dough. I felt this one was a little bit cute so I rolled out in a long length and I kind of twist it until I achieve this and then I'm going to set these aside to poof before frying. Now into my oil, you don't want the oil too hot or too cold. We want it to, to cook low and slow because if you cook this on high heat, they will burn on the inside, will not be fully cooked. So here I am flipping them over halfway through. You want to keep an eye on this. When frying donuts, you don't want to leave. You want to stay right there and monitor. So here I am removing these from the oil. Press them on a piece of paper towel to drain off the excess grease and I'm, here I am continuing the next step until everything is done. In the meantime, you want to go ahead in a bowl. We're going to add some cinnamon and some sugar. We're going to coat these in. So we're going to take our donuts and coat it generously in that cinnamon sugar. And it's that easy to make these delicious apple pie donuts now guys if you like this video so far give it a thumbs up share it leave me a comment down below and if you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscription button and follow for more now here i am coating my donuts and i'm gonna place these on a plate and i'll show you how they're looking once they're done Now after all of them is coated nicely in that cinnamon sugar mixture and these are smelling divine, perfect for the fall season, this one is a hit. Now this one was super soft, chewy and that filling on the inside was divine. My entire family enjoyed this one. I barely had any for the next day they all ate this one up that's it my beautiful people i thank you so much for watching until then i'll see you in my next one